Hey guys, this is Chad with Pure Media Systems. Welcome back to the channel. I've got Charles with me here today, and we're going to be doing our head to head of the PV16 Ultra from SVS and the Klipsch RP1600 SW. So, Chad, I know we got some feedback. Why in the world did we pick the SB16 to compare to this subwoofer? Because we're comparing a ported design to a sealed design, and you might say that's not entirely fair. That's true, uh, except for the fact that. The, port, the sealed SVS SB16 Ultra should be able to hold its own given its specs. 1500 watt RMS amp versus an 800 watt RMS amp, same size driver, and it's a $500 premium over the Klipsch. You, you might say, oh, well, you're biased. That's not true. Charles and I both own these SVS subs personally, and this is what's in our personal theater. We, we are testing this purely objectively with as equal uh, tests as possible. We have calibrated microphones and software to have just frequency sweeps. We're not doing anything EQ wise. This is just straight frequency sweeps. So just to recap, we've got our graph here from our previous video, which we have right up here. Click link to jump over to that other video when you're done watching this one. Green is the SBS and the orange is the Klipsch RP1600. Uh, you can see clearly the Klipsch is performing several dB above the SVS, pretty much across the frequency range from 14 hertz up to 120. Had just that, as a reference, this is 80 right here, so we're talking about being well into the crossover point of our main speakers. But all of our low frequency enhancement, I mean, we're seeing 3 dB. And of course, yes, we've got a poor design. We're expecting better performance on the very low end, that sub 20 hertz range. And yeah, we see it here, but uh, this is going to be pretty interesting when we get that PV because now same driver, same amp, much bigger ported box. So I think we'll see some separation here, but I'm curious on the overall because uh, we're going to be looking at $1,100 cost difference now. And almost twice the power, 1,500 watts versus 800. So we're exactly. genuinely curious so. to see this. All righty. Well, let's get to it. Okay, so we've got the Klipsch out and the SVS back in its place. We're going to go ahead and do the measurements. That's interesting. Well, that's very interesting. Well, <laughs> not what I expected. No, not what I expected at all. Uh, be honest with you guys, I initially was thinking we must have done something wrong. We ran this a few more times. We're getting consistent sweeps. It's real. And you know what else? I mean, we looked back at the SVS website and you see the frequency response of this thing set up in standard tuning, this, this PB, and it does roll off pretty heavy under 20 in reality. Uh, Klipsch has put the engineering, they put the R&D hours. I mean, I know this was a project for them you know, during our shutdown during the Rona time, and it shows here. I know there's an, in this port and it is just smooth. You don't get a lot of port chuffing. You don't. And that's something we noticed in this SVS. You get some noticeable port noise down at that bottom end. I mean, it, the box is simple. It's a box with just three cones in it. The the aerofoil design that they've come up with for this, and that's what they call it is aerofoil. It's, it's a pretty impressive design. 
Uh, sure, down low at super high volumes, there's going to be a little bit of noise, but it's not near what you get from the, the SVS out of, out of this. Well, yeah, but that's like when we're at 14 hertz. And I mean, looking at this graph here, we're talking about, you know, 94 dB on the SVS versus 110 on that clip so i mean that's just such an exponential you know you difference. feel this <laughs> yeah it's it you really know it's, it's a chest. massive difference here and wow i mean <laughs> I, this isn't the biggest room you know it's roughly uh, 17 by 12. uh you know i know it looks smaller uh the, the wall that the screen's on we actually built that there's only two studs there holding up the screen that's all it's there for uh, it's fully acoustically transparent so it's uh, we stretched an, stretched an acoustic cloth over it which you saw folded back Strictly so that we can change out speakers and subwoofers and do this kind of testing. You know, that way it can always be in the same space um, mm -hmm. and be able to do objective measurements for like this for you guys. Yeah, and like I said, guys, you know, we want to be fully transparent here. You know, some of you are saying, ah, oh, nah, they're just biased. This is wrong. That's my subwoofer. That's my PB. The reason, first reason, honestly, we didn't do it in the first video. I didn't want to have to bring it over here and haul it up into this room because it, it's a little heavy. We're talking about 180 pounds. This Klipsch, which is somehow outperforming it, is 50 pounds less. I mean, think about the engineering that went into brace that properly to yeah. achieve that. Uh, it's, it's impressive is the only way to it, say it. It is impressive. But, you know, again, we've got this thing set up from the laptop directly. The same output levels. We've got a receiver. We're not crank. We're not trying to abuse these drivers or max them out. We've got this thing where you're going to listen to a movie, you know, pretty loud and enjoy it, what you would typically use in the real world. So it's how these subwoofers turned up to their max for amplifying that signal and what their frequency response is across this usable range. And we did take the out of Roo was going out of negative 18 dB. So it's reduced out of it. So, you know, a lot of it protect our hearing. We ran yeah, lots I mean, of we sweeps. Want to make sure we've got headroom. We don't want anything to be clipping here, you know, on these results. So it's as apples to apples as I think we can realistically make it. Right. And at the end of the day here, we've got an $1,100 price difference. And I'm kind of wondering, does anyone want a PB-16? <laughs> you know, it's, this is, it, you know, it might seem like we're being silly. This is not, we're, we're not being biased to clips. We sell a number of different brands. Uh, you know, I know that it seems like that, but it's, this is not anything to do with that. This is just strictly, uh, you know, to be as objective as possible here. Yeah. Um, you know, we know that the SVS is very popular. It's why we used to, to be a dealer for SVS. That's why uh, I own one, right? I mean, yeah. these are our personal units. The SB16 was my personal unit. We took those readings before we even moved it out. That was actually here in my theater. Yeah. Uh, I mean, we, as a company, when we first started, we wanted to sell products that we would have in our own homes because they perform, because they're a good value, right? I mean, we understand everyone's all over the market as to you know, what they can afford, what makes sense, and, and we wanna get you the best solution possible. So that's why yeah. we do custom design. That's why we're passionate about this, so. You know, and if you've ever talked with us and we've worked with you, you can hear that when we talk to you, and we'll talk to you forever. You know, just put us in a room, we're on the phone with you, and we'll talk to you for hours about home theater and speakers and projectors, TVs, you name it. Uh, what else is there to say? I mean, Klipsch is a serious player now, and I'm happy to see it. I think it's a long time overdue. I know yeah. that's been some of our feedback back to the folks we know there, and wow. Uh, <laughs> yeah. If you want to demo in person, give us a call. You know, we'll have all of our information down below in the description. We're happy to have you. Give us a call. We'll schedule a time and come up for an in-person demo. You know, again, we got nothing to hide. You want to experience it? Let us know. Absolutely. Well, well, yeah, I think that about wraps it up, guys. So thanks very much for tuning in again. Smash that button, subscribe, because, I mean, yeah. That's what you're supposed to say on YouTube. Yeah, that's what, right? Yeah, I, I think anyway. so. Something like that. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, until next time, and yeah, let us know what else you'd like to see. We'll see what we can do. Yeah, anything you want to see, we'll, uh, we'll see what we can do and make arrangements for that. Thanks, guys.